Honey, how many shirts do you have on? So she has two shirts and a vest on, and her winter coat is in my backpack. How long are we staying on this hike? We're Chris and Melissa. Back in 2020, we left our empty nest to embark on a slow travel adventure, living in 12 cities in 12 months. This month, we're staying in Waldeboro, Maine, just a couple of hours from Bar Harbor and Acadia National Park. We booked a two-day trip there. I did some research before we left because there is nothing better than a well-planned trip. When I came across the Condé Nast travel article featuring the food and beverage director at Under Canvas Acadia, Nick Pappas, my expectations for our eating out prospects went way up. I put three of his food recommendations onto our itinerary. How many things did Melissa put on our list? 13, including hikes that she says can take up to five hours. I'm not sure we'll have enough time for everything. However, I am looking forward to putting Chef Nick's recommendations to the test. Our trip begins at the highly rated Sunrise Cafe. They serve fresh made crepes, breakfast sandwiches, the all important coffee, and I've heard very good things about their cinnamon rolls. Somebody I know loves cinnamon rolls. Sunrise Cafe is cozy, quaint, only like four tables inside. So we are actually sitting outside with this lovely view. Thanks, Fog. So, I think it's kind of cool. It's it moody. Is. So what'd you get? I decided to go ahead and get a bacon, egg, and cheese crepe. I know I need some protein. The sweet ones looked really tempting though. How about you? I got a bagel, egg, and sausage sandwich. Cause you know, I needed some protein myself. And then of course we had to do this. <laughs> That is like 10% me, 90% Chris. I have to do the laser <laughs> testing. Cinnamon rolls are part of the testing. <laughs> the cinnamon roll is so warm. I'm gonna try it. I already plowed through my sandwich. Cinnamon rolls are the best. Right, Adam? Huh? Are the crepes reminding you of um, Quebec City? A little bit. My crepe is magnifique. Mm -hmm. Très magnifique. Still doing that French thing, huh? So when we set out to do this video, we were expecting to show you guys great scenes, beautiful nature. It's gonna be tough with this fog. It's really gonna be tough. I just double checked. Low tide is at 11 a.m. and you're supposed to be able to walk across the land bridge before, after low tide, uh, like two hours on either side. Right now it's almost 10, so I think we we need to start crossing it. If you screw up and you walk across when it's the bridge is there and then the tide comes up, you're stuck there for nine hours. Or you can pay $150 for a boat ride if you can get a hold of it and then you still have to wait at least an hour. We better not screw up. Although it is almost summer, we had to go put another layer on because it's kind of chilly out today. Melissa likely brought one of her winter coats. One of her winter, she has a lot of winter coats. <laughs> we have two winter coats. Okay, but I'm determined that it is, you know, it's getting warmer. Oh, wow. So I'm, I'm sticking with my summery accessory. That accessory matches your coat though. Yes, it does. <laughs> I wanted you to be impressed that I noticed that the colors match. I am so impressed by you. Check yeah. out my other accessory today. <laughs> hey honey, those are really nice mittens. And it's funny that you have them in summertime. Well, and thank you for getting them for me. You ready? I am ready. Looks like you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready for anything now that I've got my coffee. <laughs> I bet you the first people that walked across this, <laughs> they get coffee. That's how they were able to do it. <laughs> if they were wise and prepared. We're going to be walking into the abyss. Did you ever think you would do something like this? No, I don't think I ever thought of a land bridge that, that gets covered up by the ocean. And here we are. This is so cool. It I is. love it. Two hours to explore the island? 
Uh, we have three, or no, two. So let's just explore for an hour. Okay. Because okay? I don't want to get stuck here for nine hours. Yeah, it looked like it took us 20 minutes to cross the bridge. Oh. Okay, I was not aware that this was part of Acadia National Park, but it is. Yeah, I was confused by that. Fortunately, we have a season pass, right? so we're okay. Totally legal. And we have it on us. It is nice to get back into hiking. I've missed it. that this is positively gorgeous when there's not a bunch of fog. However, I think it's really cool and moody looking with the fog. Okay, so we think we made it to the top, so we're heading back down. We should be fine, right? Yes, yeah. we have plenty of time. It's gonna be the lowest tide here in about 10 minutes. I think I'm seeing where Stephen King got a lot of his inspiration for his work. Maine is a foggy, <laughs> eerie place sometimes. <laughs> it is. I love it though. It's so moody. I know I've said that before, but it's just so moody. Okay, it, it wasn't that dramatic. We made it. Well, we were very practical, good planners, and we made it with plenty of time to spend. Are you disappointed? <laughs> I wanted a, maybe a little bit more drama, but you know. So if you're in Bar Harbor, Maine, if you're planning to go to Acadia National Park, go ahead and make some time for the land bridge. It's easy, the hike wasn't too challenging. No. It's no. a lot of fun. And like we said, I have a feeling the views are amazing. Shopping Main Street is one way we find things we didn't know about. Like Maine's oldest bookstore, which opened back in 1886. This is the book I picked up, Down East. Oh, it's so good. I put lunch on our itinerary because of its high ratings and locally sourced ingredients. I thought Google said it was open, but I guess we're not going there. Should we go back to the pub? Hmm. We are at Patty's Irish Pub. Waterfront views, beautiful atmosphere. I'm excited. Fish tacos at an Irish pub? Hey, tacos are tacos. The Dublin Pub Dip. Ribeye, Irish cheddar, horseradish cream, and caramelized onion goodness. Yeah. Yum, yum. That's pretty good stuff. Oh, fantastic. For, um, Patty's in Bar Harbor. Not a bad place to go. Tea time? Yes, it's tea time. This spot made the itinerary because I love tea and they hand blend theirs in-house. If you go, pick up some blueberry fruit tea. It's amazing, especially with a slice of lemon and a little honey. We got some souvenirs. Okay, I don't know. I think it's kind of lame to get souvenirs to where you're going, but come on, we weren't ever cool and we're not gonna start being cool now, so. I was having a bad hair day and didn't have a hat that matched my outfit, so I had to correct that. All right, well, I think we look good, so uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, look real good. Well, thank you. Let's go check out the views and then we gotta get to Thunder Hole. There's the blue sky and then there's the clouds over the ocean and the views. Sometimes you don't get the breaks. Good job, hon. Thank you so much. We might have an interesting time finding parking for Thunder Hole. It looks busy up here. I think you're good. So we're going to Thunder Hole and supposedly the way it's set up, the waves come in and make a thunderous sound when they hit the geological formation that's there. Is that what you think is happening? That's the gist of it, yeah. And it's supposed to be the most pronounced a couple of hours before high tide. So we're trying to time it right. I didn't know that this adventure would involve so much timing until I started doing the research and setting our itinerary. Oh, yeah. look at all that parking. <laughs> Hello. 
So water comes up all the way up here. Mm -hmm. Maybe we need to get closer. I'd say Thunder Hole was worth the trip. Definitely a thumb up a bump experience. We didn't get a huge boom of thunder, but it was still pretty cool. Oh, I thought it was hypnotic. Yeah, it I was. Could have stayed there for hours. At first, this place seemed like it might not make it to this very video. The gardens really weren't our thing. But when we found the Jessup Trail right behind the gardens, things changed. That place was awesome. This is peaceful. Is it not, honey? I agree. I could get very used to this. Melissa's well, gonna become a ranger. That might be one of the best walks I've ever been on. The way the sun was perfect, the temperature's perfect. There's a little bit of a breeze, birds singing. Yeah, I love the birds. Oh, it was so nice. And the birch trees are so pretty. If you get a chance, walk that trail. Yes, the Jessup Trail in Acadia National Park. I think we did a good job today. We are on schedule. We have taken in all of the sites I had planned for today. We just have one thing left and that is dinner. Well, that's easy. That's not even a challenge, is it? No, just pizza and beer and Ellsworth. We made it. Now it's time to freshen up and go and get some pizza and some beer, right? Yes, at Fogtown Brewery. We can do it. We can do this. We are all freshened up and ready to go. Fogtown Brewing Company is the first spot on Chef Nick's list that we're checking out. Before going, I noticed that they focus on environmental sustainability and what they do, which gives us even more reason to go. The Munich. I went with the branch and vine, which the gentleman said was perfect for a hot day. It is a sparkling apple wine. She loves it. Mm. It's so good. She won't stop raving about it. It's so good. This though, it's so good. Oh, it smells so good. So hungry and oh my gosh, it's so delicious. Seriously, the alote. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like it has a little bit of spice, and then there's this nice balance on it with the corn and the cheese. Yeah, you know, clearly no red sauce. And the crust is fantastic. It's like it's not too chewy, it's light, very nice. You gonna trade me a piece? Oh, I'll just let you have a piece because I can't finish I this. That I have this one. Thing, so. Well, if you want a piece of mine, you can have it. She's nice. <laughs> I got a plain salad. Smells so good. And the chimichurri adds to it so many flavors, mm. so many good flavors. I'm gonna go back to eat. So I grabbed one of Melissa's pieces. Oh my gosh! There's like an explosion, like flavors everywhere. Really good. Fogtown Brewery in Ellsworth, Maine is fantastic. Oh my God, that cornelote oh. pizza. Carne asada pizza. And we talked to the chef. He's not a pompous guy. He's just like, I'm making pizza the best I can. He is, it's amazing. It's fantastic. Thumb up and a bumps, thumb up a bumps. The beers. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs>
We need to head to Sylvia's for breakfast. And then we have two different hikes I think we should go on. One is Cadillac Mountain Northridge. The other is Jordan Pond. And then ice cream. Goodbye, Hampton Inn. We are on our way to Sylvia's. I'm so hungry. Old Chris and Melissa would have passed this place up. For some reason, strip mall restaurants haven't appealed to us. But this was on Chef Nick's list, so we're giving it a go. We're about to have breakfast. What comes on the radio? Iron Maiden. This is my kind of breakfast place. Are you happy, honey? I'm happy you're happy. That was a delightful breakfast place. Oh yeah, the atmosphere was super fun. The food was delicious. My Monte Cristo, oh my gosh. I couldn't finish it. Super quick service too, polite. Couldn't be, oh, soundtrack. The music playing, every song was awesome. I love that. It's about a 30 minute drive from Sylvia's Diner to Acadia where we'll be hiking to the highest point on the Eastern seaboard. Alright, we're a little perplexed. I'm always perplexed when it comes to hiking trails in terms of where to find, where to start. Uh, so we went into the park, obviously. Doesn't sound like we were going to the right place. Online I had read that you could start it at Sand Beach or you could start it at where like there's this bus pull out. And we were gonna go the Sand Beach route. He said that there wasn't a trail to it there and told us to go to that little bus pull out. So we're gonna give that a try. Hopefully it works. We are going to take the Kibo Brook Trail to the Cadillac Northridge Trail. We parked at the bus stop just like we had read about and the one gentleman had a firm for us. I love it when things work out like that because I didn't know if we were going the right place, so. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but walking through here at this time of year, the leaves are so vibrant green. It's really amazing. Melissa just keeps on going. Just I'm a machine. I'm gonna get to the top of the mountain really fast. We did learn from the ranger that there are some spooky trails with like chains you gotta hold on to. We just weren't feeling up to that today. So we're just doing the, the easy hikes today. Here's the start of Cadillac Northridge Trail, right here. Oh, wow. So uh, we have come up to a road right here, hun. two miles all uphill. Whew. That's actually a nice touch. We haven't seen that. It really helps you know that you're going the right way. Five minutes in, awesome sights. 10 minutes into the hike and I just now noticed Melissa's wind mittens. She has mittens on, two layers of pants. Honey, how many shirts do you have on? So she has two shirts and a vest on and her winter coat is in my backpack. Full socks. How long are we staying on this hike? I don't know, what if we get lost? <laughs> I think we should add to the rock pile, just one rock. Uh, This won't be bad. That rock. You go ahead. You know me. I can't do it. I'm ready to take off my vest. Guess where that vest goes.
Melissa just took off layer number two. Guess where that layer goes? The North Ridge Trail. It's got some steep parts. Well, not that steep, but some up parts. And then it levels off for a bit, gives you a break. But right now we're in one of the up parts. And Melissa goes fast. So where are those pants going? In the back. I think next time you're gonna need to bring just like a little bit bigger of a backpack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're almost two miles into this. It's been pretty much uphill. Not super steep. I'm getting pretty tired though. Melissa's not though. Okay. Of course she has burdened me with probably at least Five to ten pounds of her stuff. Hey, Melissa, you feeling light and fancy free? Oh, yeah, the layers are back here. took us three hours and 14 minutes. We did a little bit of stopping, a little bit of video slows us down, but oof. We really did no resting whatsoever though. It was go, go, go. That was one of the hardest hikes I've had in a long time. Yeah, we did an elevation gain of 1,280 feet. We went over five miles and that's like the longest hike we think we've done. Yeah, we do usually don't do long hikes. We usually do shorter, more explosive ones, at least in the Pacific Northwest. It was like steep and quick. It feels good. It feels good to be done. It looks like we are going to achieve everything oh, on the list. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. We haven't started the last trail yet. Made it to Jordan Pond. You ready for the hike? Yes, let's do it. Because uh, after we're done, we can go eat and have ice cream. And that's the best yes. celebration. Success. Well, success in finding where the path starts. So here we go. It's just like with working out. Pressing play is the hardest part. Once you're on it, you're on it. No, 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 no. Pressing play is not the hardest part. Doing the damn workout. <laughs> the landscape on this path is considered one of Acadia's most iconic. It's also near Jordan Pond House, a place we didn't get a chance to eat at because it wasn't open for the season yet. We've heard great things about it though. This little wooden path is really interesting and it's actually a little bit more narrow than I think I would expect in a national park. It's got a little bit of danger to it. the tree creeping. Hmm? You've got some challenge up there. Oh, this. come on. I thought it was all level, easy going. That was a little dicey. I almost sprained my ankle and we almost fell in the water. I don't think I almost fell in the water. I almost did. Somebody's been busy. That shot is reminding me and Melissa of Nelson, BC. I'm getting ready to be done with this. I'm so hungry. Hungry, tired, joints are going, hey, what's with all the hiking? Yeah, my calves are pretty tight. Yeah, so we haven't been doing this on a regular basis, so we should have broke ourselves into this. You know, maybe one hike would have been good. But, but hey. are we gonna come back to Acadia National Park anytime soon? We had to go big, we did. We had to go big and we did go big. 
Yes, I'm okay. proud of us. So I am proud of us too. There it is. That's the end of the trail. Yes, we did it. We finished Jordan Pond Path. It was pretty level. There was a little bit of a hard part about a third of the way in. That wasn't fun. Oh, it was fun. I loved it. Oh, you know what? It wasn't fun after what we did earlier. But if this would have been the only hike, yeah, then it would have been awesome. I still had fun regardless. I don't care. That's one scoop. Strawberry cheese. Awesome. Thank you. I really, really needed this today. cookie dough. <laughs> it's like old school French vanilla ice cream. Oh my gosh, that is so good. And then like chocolate chip cookie dough, how can you go wrong? This was the last spot on our list from the chef with the Condé Nast article. Amazing. All three places. Absolutely fantastic. Phenomenal. Thumb up a bump pun? 